Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk confidence, okay? So, I've got a question for you. Is confidence a byproduct of something or is it something you have internally, okay? Um, behind me, uh, I, I've done this diagram uh, because I was trying to train some of our guys in our coaching program how to master skills faster and basically create a, a, a positive feedback loop within the mind so that they could learn sales very fast, they can learn um, whatever they need to learn very fast, whether it's copywriting or managing a team or who, who knows, right? So <clears throat> let's talk about confidence. Now, with any skill, uh, there's, a, there's a direct correlation between how, how good you are at it and how confident you feel doing it, right? If you think about tying your shoes when you were a kid, you know, you had to put all of your energy and attention into tying your shoes and it took a long time, but now it takes, it's like, it's a, it's something that's unconscious, right? You just do it automatically. So when I see some of our coaching clients, they come to us and they lack confidence, but uh, they want to learn sales, for example, you know, this is a big hurdle. And what I've found is that, you know, what we have here, I'll, I, I, I'll explain this. What we have, what I found though, is that confidence, it's something that uh, you need to start developing and like, it's a, it's actually an internal state. You can focus on things to make you confident and you can basically trigger that within you. So this will make sense in a second here. So in the middle here, we have beliefs. All right, so let's just say you wanna learn a new skill. Say so your belief, an empowering belief would be I can learn sales. And then you, that's tied to your expectations, which was, I will get better at sales if I put in the work. That's what it says here. Up here, you have your values or positive intentions. And a positive intention would be like, uh, you know, I want to have mastery over the skill. I want success. I want to have fun, maybe whatever. It's self-improvement. Um, and then you have your experiences, which is your feedback from the environment as you start taking action, right? So maybe you're focusing on people saying yes to you and they're buying your stuff. Uh, you're hearing positive responses. You see that you're getting better. You're not focusing on everyone saying no, which is going to happen a lot, right? You're you're focusing on the upside, okay? But here you have your internal states. That's what it says here. And an internal state is your inten attentional filters, what they call it, an NLP, okay? Uh, I'm not an NLP master by any means, but you know I've I know, I know a bit. <laughs> so an internal state is confidence. Inter like it, most people they feel like when I get to a certain point, when I start closing 50% of people, then I'll feel confident about my sales ability. But basically, if you wanna do it faster, you have to trigger that first, okay? Now, here's where most people screw up when they're trying to learn a new skill. So any one of these can be off, right? This is called a meta structure of a belief. Any one of these can be off and you will never get good fast, right? So your belief might be, I'm an introvert, I can't sell, or um, I'm not a people person, or I'm not a natural burn salesperson, or you know, Gary Vee said I don't have entrepreneur DNA, so that's my belief, right? <laughs> uh, and if your belief is that, well, your expectations are basically gonna be negative, right? Well, if your expectations are negative, you're not going to go and take action meaning you're not gonna get any feedback if you do take action, right? Let's say you still have the good expectations, like maybe I can get better, so, but your beliefs are still off, you do take action. What they also say in NLP is you delete and distort and generalize. So that means you delete all the positive responses and you only focus on the negative, right? That could, that could be a thing. And if your values are off, you know, instead of having, focusing on uh, like say mastery, success, you basically focus on uh, like, problems, right? So you're, um, you're focusing on like not getting rejected and not being in pain. And those are your values, which are going to basically, again, demotivate you from taking action. And then in your internal state, often instead of confidence, it, it's like frustration, you know, like, ah, oh, it's like, it's so hard. And you're just focusing on all the stuff and it's just making you feel like crap. So, uh, this is one thing that we fix with our guys. Like, day one when they come onto our programs. And that's why you see people like Deepak who literally worked a nine to five their entire life in the government or his entire life. 
and never sold a thing before. And then once he joins a program, first deal he signs $28,000, second deal 18,000. Now the guy's, it's crazy. <laughs> now he's trying to pitch deals for like 12K per month. Uh, but it all starts with this stuff. Hopefully you learned something today. If you have any questions, you can message me below somewhere or um, just you can follow me on Twitter, Ben W. Byrne or whatever. You can go email me. I don't know. Find me. I'm easy to find. All right. Peace.